In a recent episode of Obsessed, we saw Brian Berg build an eight foot tall spaceship out of cards with nothing holding it together except good design. And he made it look easy, but how easy is it? Berg is gonna give us a quick lesson on the basics, like how to use your hands as tools and what shape to start with. Once you master those simple skills, you can use them to build pretty much anything. And I'm here to show you how to turn ordinary playing cards uh, into something amazing. First up, here's a list of don'ts. You're not gonna wanna try to do this on shag carpet. You're not gonna wanna try to do it maybe on glass. Something that has a little more texture to it. Just a normal tabletop. Uh, also don't try it outside, don't try it in front of a fan, don't do it in a moving vehicle. Those things are all problematic. To build your foundation, Berg advises against the traditional triangle shape. Instead, he starts with squares and right angles. I'm gonna hold the first card in my left hand. I'm just gonna park it here. So it's really hard, but you've gotta remember, not until you've got all four of these cards put together are you gonna let go. There's the fourth card. I'm still wiggling, but look, I'm just gonna lean all four of those together. This is a little sloppy. Each one of them is leaning in. Notice each one is at the halfway point, and notice that I've created a little box in the center. That's, this is the fundamental beginning cell of any card house, uh, from small to massive. If you can accomplish this little box and get that to happen, you're really like 90% of the way there. But I'm just gonna keep making these little boxes, and as I go, this will kind of turn into what I call the grid. He has a couple extra little tips to get you from the first story to the second to the third, fourth, fifth, however tall you wanna go. I'm just gonna quickly throw a little roof on this. You're really just trying to get the most even uh, roofing that you can that isn't, you know, five cards thick in one place and one card thick in another in the very center. So imagine it getting thicker and thicker and thicker in the middle, but not so much on the edges. You're gonna create this dome effect on your roof. And what that's gonna cause is your cards to dance around. They're not gonna wanna sit. But you'll notice I did put the numbers up. Uh, the numbers are up because typically uh, playing cards are sort of shaped like this. And that means that every card kind of creates two contact points and that, that card's just gonna wanna sit there. Um, all right, if it were like this, that card's gonna wanna dance around. When you put all these steps together, you have endless options of what you can build. And you'll be surprised at how strong your card houses are. And to prove it, Berg is gonna build another grid and then stress test it. Okay, so we're gonna build the same grid we built before. I'm gonna use two or three cards at a time to just kind of beef up the strength of this thing a little bit. And you could do it with one card, you know, depending on <clears throat> what you want to do with this thing. I double them up, triple them up a lot to just make it more of a brick house, less of a card house, so that uh, when the clumsiest person in the room is moving around, which is me, uh, and I get too close to it, that you know, just the slightest draft doesn't cause it to start to fall apart. These larger structures become really strong. So you might have something sitting around that you can use uh, to stress test your house of cards. So in this case, I just happen to have a concrete block sitting here and I'm just gonna set it on there. Do we have another one? Do we have another one? 